Morning Briefs. The Herald and News. Sunrise Headlines. Your headlines now. Good morning, Klamath Basin. It's Wednesday, May 23rd, 2018. I'm Kurt Lidke with the Herald and News. Here's a preview of some of the stories that you can find in today's edition of the Herald and News. Time for your Sunrise Headlines. While visibly there is still water in the A Canal, Bureau of Reclamation's Klamath Basin Area Office directed water flows from the canal's headgates to be significantly reduced as of Monday morning, a move that essentially has shut off potential for deliveries until June 1st. Reclamation's Klamath Basin Area Office issued a notice to Klamath Project Irrigators Monday stating a need to sustain upper Klamath Lake levels as required by a federal court order, meaning there isn't enough water to go around before June 1st. Reclamation will reevaluate how much water is available as early as Friday. Malin Rural Fire Protection District received multiple citations and warnings issued by OSHA following inspections conducted in April. Records acquired by the Herald and News indicate 14 separate items that garnered inspection, some resulting in either citations or warning letters, primarily focusing on training and equipment maintenance. Documents list items in which the fire district was found to be out of compliance. These include issues with training on structural firefighting, bloodborne pathogens and hazardous materials awareness, an inadequate amount of helmets, hoods, and boots issued, apparatus maintenance, and record keeping. In January, nine firefighters resigned over alleged disputes with Fire Chief Virgil Yoakum. A handful of environmental groups are pushing back against Governor Kate Brown's appointment to the Environmental Quality Commission because, they contend, he helped redirect millions of taxpayer dollars away from endangered salmon in the Klamath Basin and towards agribusiness. But the nominee, Greg Addington, says that's a far-fetched story by a group of organizations that got kicked out of the Klamath Basin settlement talks years ago and haven't forgotten about it. Other environmental groups rose up in Addington's defense, saying he's an excellent candidate for the board that oversees the Oregon DEQ. A project to repave the Highway 97 northbound off-ramp leading to downtown Klamath Falls remains ahead of schedule, though weather could delay a planned end date of May 30th. Crews still need to put stripes down and other finishing touches before they can reopen the off-ramp. Work on the off-ramp, which connects motorists to Main Street near Veterans Memorial Park, began March 5th with the goal of replacing the deck with structural concrete, as well as upgrades to joints and rails. And those are just a few of the stories you can find detailed in today's Herald and News. Be sure to follow us online via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and of course, heraldandnews.com. You can subscribe to our daily and weekly podcasts on iTunes and Google Play Music to automatically receive each show on your listening device, and check back often for the latest podcasts, videos, and breaking news. Good morning, Klamath Basin, and enjoy your day.